My name is Steve Crandall. You're at our new facility here at Waterville United Methodist Church in Waterville, Ohio. Um, our, I'll give you a little background on where we started our old church. It was a church that nobody could find and uh, we had no parking, uh, the facilities were very old and we needed to find some way to uh, reach our community and that church and that building was not the way to do, we, we could do that. So our, our goal was to reach out to our community, to be a bigger part of our community, to bring people in, uh, provide facilities, uh, provide playing fields. We've owned this property for probably 27 years and uh, we'd gone through two building processes, the, the first of which we had a large capital campaign and eventually we settled on an architect um, and we proceeded to come up with drawings and plans and design and whatnot and eventually this pro the project went out to bid in our market. Unfortunately that project came in double what we had intended it to be and it just crashed and burned at that point. Our congregation was pretty upset about that, our, uh, our teams were upset about it, um, of course our pastor was upset and uh, we eventually we uh, settled with that architect uh, financially and uh, uh, threw those plans away. Those plans uh, were no, no use to us at that point. We found out about an a architectural firm called BGW, which stands for Building God's Way. And in partnership with Weaver Commercial Contracting, we got to meet them and we became quite interested. So we went to a couple meetings with them and uh, all in all, we, uh, we, we came to uh, hire them and we hired them to do a charrette process for us, which was a, th a two or three day process of des design investigation to find out, uh, first of all, what our church was interested in building and secondly, to come up with a pre-design for, uh, for that building. That process, I believe, took two days, and by the second night, we were looking at a at this building, and um, uh, it was um, a remarkable process. We were we I, we have to I have to say we felt like God was in that room that night when we all discovered the new design that we were going to eventually build. Um, we have. Uh, you know, classrooms here that can be repurposed into meeting rooms. Our, the uh, gathering space we're in right now can be repurposed into a large meeting room. Of course, the, the uh, sanctuary can be a large meeting room and, um, and or these, these can be reception rooms. We can open our glass walls or close our glass walls depending on what, what we need to do, which you can see behind me. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful uh, uh, addition to the building, but it's also super functional. Uh, when the glass walls close, it, it's very quiet on both, on both sides of it. Uh, we, when we designed uh, the acoustics in the building, it was designed for this glass wall to be open or closed, and it works very well. In the end, uh, the uh, exciting part about our project is we're under budget. And because we're under budget, we're, we're starting to use a little bit of that extra money, do some things that we, we wanted to do and didn't think we had the money for. So. That's a plus, and uh, uh, all in all, I would strongly re recommend Weaver Commercial Contracting and BGW. They're great firms, and like I said, they'll hold your hand and do everything they need to do to, to make your project whole and uh, make it an exciting event for your congregation. And um, I can tell you this, that our congregation is thrilled, and that's all I can ask for.